Hi guys, welcome back. So this is our second class from the week, from week 13. So today you're going to learn so many things. I hope you are doing great, you have a lot of energy and let's jump into today's class. As usual, we start by reading our objective. Today we have only one, okay? You will be able to identify expressions to make recommendations and suggestions and give personal opinion. Okay, identificar expresiones para hacer, para realizar recomendaciones, para realizar sugerencias y también para dar información o opinión personal. Ok, entonces, bueno, vamos a aprender esas expresiones que de ahora en adelante vamos a poner en práctica, ok. So, let's see. Giving your opinion. For giving your opinion, guys, well, these are, you have a lot of expressions, but I chose the ones that are more popular, okay? And you have three expressions here. In my opinion, I think, and in my view. O sea, estas tres expresiones las vamos a utilizar para dar nuestra opinión acerca de algo. In my opinion, I think and in my view. For example, in my opinion, Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player in the world. ¿Ok? Yo comienzo. En mi opinión, Cristiano Ronaldo es el mejor jugador del mundo. Pues usted puede tener una opinión diferente, pero simplemente estamos utilizando las palabras o expresiones que utilizamos para dar opinión y son también intercambiables, es lo bueno porque yo puedo decir in my opinion o puedo decir I think Cristiano Ronaldo is or in my view Cristiano Ronaldo is beep and you continue, ok? So here we have the first case Now let's talk about suggestions Making suggestions Hacer sugerencias We have four ways of giving suggestions, making suggestions, okay? We can use lest, lest, we can use why don't we, we can use how about, and we can use what about, okay? Entonces tenemos cuatro opciones. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Pues vamos a verla. Less words with a verb, for example, let's watch a movie. Vamos a ver una película. Let's go to the cinema. Let's go to a restaurant. Or let's study English. Okay, why don't we? Why don't we plus a verb? For example, why don't we watch a movie? ¿Por qué no vemos una película? Why don't we go to the cinema? Why don't we study English? How about? We use how about plus a verb plus ing. Sí, esto es un poco diferente porque este el verbo tiene que tener ing. I say, how about watching a movie? Y si vemos una película. How about studying English? How about playing soccer? How about going to the cinema? And we also have what about. What about and how about are very, very similar. Okay, you can say, what about watching a movie? What about studying English? What about playing soccer? What about going to the cinema? What about going to the beach? Okay? Sí. Pues los dos primeros se parecen un poco y los dos últimos también se parecen un poco en su estructura. Tenemos cuatro maneras diferentes de hacer sugerencias. We have the last case. Let's see what the last case is about, guys. Recommendations. Okay, you have a lot of ways of making recommendations. But I chose two expressions that are really, really, really popular. And they are also widely used in spoken language. Okay, I chose should and recommend. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples. Let's see... You should eat healthy food. You should eat healthy food. You should study English. You should 
do your homework. Ok, entonces ese should lo voy a traducir como debería. You should eat healthy food. Tú deberías comer comida sana. Ok, ven que después del should yo coloco simplemente mi verbo. Then we have recommend. I recommend that you go on a diet. I recommend that you go on a diet. Yo recomiendo que tú hagas dieta, hagas una dieta. Okay, entonces, si ven que después de recommend, voy a utilizar la cláusula that, que significa que, y de ahí coloco mi oración normal de lo que yo quiero recomendar. I recommend that you go to the doctor. Recomiendo que vayas al doctor. I recommend that you go on a diet. Recomiendo que hagas dieta. Ok. So, we saw three different cases. Now let's talk about the homework, guys. As homework, you have to write two sentences expressing personal opinion. Number two, you have to write two suggestions. And number three, write two recommendations. Ok. Escribir. Como deber. Dos Opiniones personales, utilizando la estructura que ya vimos. Dos sugerencias, utilizando la estructura. Ok, recuerden que tenían cuatro allí. Y dos recomendaciones, una y una. Ok. Y también pues debemos hacer un resumen acerca de esta clase. In your notebook. So, that's all guys. All, you, all I have to do is I hope you understood.